Welcome to the Potter Blog site. It is May 31st, 2012. Uh, this evening we're revisiting a test of radioactive milk we first performed in July of 2011 on uh, Organic Valley non-fat dry milk. In July of 2011 what we did was basically uh, put the Geiger counter on top of the package, take a 10 minute total count reading, then move the package out of the way, take a 10 minute total count reading of background, and we followed that pattern, I believe, uh, two or three times for the package. And what we discovered was that pre-Fukushima Organic Valley Milk, at least this particular package, was radioactive at 30% uh, greater than background. Well, fast forward to, to today, we decided to test some uh, Mexican Nido milk, also pre-Fukushima. And this Mexican Nido milk, we believe, was packaged on January 31st, 2011. And the uh, Organic Valley, we believe, was packaged on December 17th, 2010. So about a month apart, both pre-Fukushima. And when we tested the Nido milk, because it's in a big can, we had to put it in a uh, small Ziploc container. And again, basically what we did was put the Geiger counter on top of it, take a 10 minute reading for total counts, then take a 10 minute reading of background for total counts, and we repeated that process three times. And what we discovered was, is that the Nido milk on average was 19% greater than background. And you can see the uh, total counts there. And we also did the same test on organic valley milk. And we also put it in a, a Ziploc type bag just so the uh, tests would be equal because this aluminum foil type bag of the organic valley milk will block more alpha and beta radiation than the plastic Ziploc bag. And when we did this test, you can already hear it's uh, clicking more. What we discovered was is this organic valley milk is 60% uh, 66% 60 greater than uh, background radiation. So you can see the readings here. 66% over background. We actually have one pretty high one at 690 total counts over a 10 minute period. And uh, both of these, the NIDA package and the organic valley milk package were uh, 20 grams. So we both measured them out at 20 grams. We also retested the exact same test uh, we did in uh, July of uh, 2011. We tested the organic valley milk in the package. And what we discovered this time is that the, uh, at least through the aluminum foil, it was only 24% uh, over background compared to the uh, previous 30% over background that it was uh, almost a year ago. So that may be a decline in radioactivity or it just may be some uh, variability in the readings. But the point here is, is that uh, pre-Fukushima milk is radioactive and it's a lot easier to detect the dried milk because when you pull the water out you make it a lot easier to detect the radioactivity because water is a pretty good attenuator of radioactivity. So you won't get these same type of readings when you get uh, wet milk. Now one interesting thing is in March of 2011, almost right after Fukushima, Organic Valley put out a press release stating that they were uh, testing their pre-Fukushima milk for radioactivity and establishing baselines and that they were also testing their post-Fukushima milk and that they would basically keep the public informed so they'd have some capability of uh, alerting of whether or not there was something going on. I think that's difficult to do at least with a Geiger counter. You know, gamma spectrometry, professional gamma spectrometry might give a better idea. But uh, you know, we checked and Organic Valley hasn't updated anything, at least to the public, on what they discovered about the radioactivity of their uh, pre-Fukushima milk versus their post-Fukushima milk. It could be really helpful if they would uh, explain what the radioactivity of their pre-Fukushima milk was. Well, obviously these are individual containers and they don't necessarily represent the entire line of the product. This is just what we measured this day in our house on these two products using this Geiger counter. It is somewhat concerning to us that the Organic Valley was uh, significantly higher than the Nido given they both have about the same age. Uh, 
could be a function of uh, where and what the cows ate. Uh, Mexico versus, I think, uh, between Oregon and Wisconsin for organic valley, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, so what does one do? Yeah, we don't partake of any post-Fukushima milk because it uh, tends to concentrate radioactivity. Even the pre-Fukushima milk concentrates radioactivity. But uh, one thing we are doing is uh, testing uh, pre- and post-Fukushima ground beef. We've already spent uh, $1,100 of our own money testing Fukushima beef that was four months old and it actually detected positive for uh, radiation. And uh, we had donations that allowed us to test pre-Fukushima beef, uh, only gamma spectrometry. And that cost us, actually, it cost us not that much because uh, people stepped up and helped donate to make it possible. And we'll get into some more details of that when uh, uh, we get into the specifics of those uh, professional lab tests on the ground beef. But uh, we're about to pick up some fresh ground beef and it's been eating uh, post-Fukushima grass for the last uh, year. So if you'd like to see the responses to that, how much cesium's in it, Fukushima cesium, then uh, please donate.